In 1960, Dr. Frank Drake began the first search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI program. This spawned an endeavor that has stretched more than four decades of combing the stars for radio signals. Signals that would prove we are not alone. But is this venture hitting the mark when searching for ET life? Find out as this Paranormal TV point of view story examines the science behind the SETI program. The SETI program looks at the issue of are there planets around other stars, and if so, then what is the easiest way for them to communicate with us? And using exactly the level of technology that we had five and 15 years ago, we have said, well, such technology would be radio waves. And also we know that if that hypothetical star with its hypothetical planet had radioactivity exactly equivalent to our own dew-line radars and radio television broadcasts, we would be able to detect such emissions with our present generation of radio telescopes. And so, of course, one cadre of American astronomers went out and established the SETI program. They're listening for signals which they hope somebody is still producing out there with equipment that we can monitor. If you got an AM radio, it doesn't play FM. They're using anything but our best technology, which can't be very good because we've only been at it for 100 years, then they're not going to find anything. You want to know about extraterrestrial intelligence, study the UFO data. They refuse to. You won't find references to any of the large-scale scientific studies in their work. That's not science. It's resistance. Radio astronomy should continue its scientific investigations because that is, after all, a valid piece of science, and I, I wish uh, these researchers well. However, I think that the existence of this program should not preclude other approaches. Where there are people among us who say they've had these experiences, well, and just listen to them and see what it sounds like when we put their experiences together and see what we can learn about a more complicated universe than we understand today. I don't think it's a joke. I use the term silly effort to investigate, S-E-T-I. It's not science. It's wishful thinking. They're assuming that there's nobody traveling here, that wherever there is life out there that could send a signal, it's always been there. No colonization, no migration. They were assuming being stuck at the same level of technology that we are after only 100 years of development? That's absurd. We can listen for signals. The expectation that's gonna tell us anything about anybody out there is ridiculous. <laughs>